So fourth graders, today's lesson is on metric mass and volume measurements, specifically kilograms and grams and liters and milliliters. All right, let's get started. First, let's talk about what measurements of mass are. Mass is a fancy word for weight. So whenever you hear mass, just think how much something weighs. And in the metric system, we have two main forms of mass. We have grams and kilograms, all right? gram is the smaller measurement. So when you think of one gram, think of the weight of a paper clip, so really not that much. Now we get that measurement from how much weight one cubic centimeter of water would be. So one gram is think very small. So grams measure small things, so things that don't weigh that much, like raisins don't weigh that much. A cup of oatmeal doesn't weigh that much, so we about 53 grams. A tablespoon of salt or sugar is about six grams. So grams measure small things. Now kilograms, kilo means a thousand, so kilograms, one kilogram is 1,000 grams. All right, so kilograms measure heavier stuff. So one kilogram is about a heavy bag of rice, or one kilogram is about the uh, weight of a bottle of water. We use kilograms to measure heavy objects like the weights that guys work out with or the weight of a heavy dresser. All right, we would use kilograms to measure the weight of a car. And we would use kilograms to measure big animals like horses. So kilograms measure bigger things. All right, now let's talk about metric measurements of volume. Volume is the measurement of how much space something takes up. And the smallest unit of measurement is a milliliter, and that's how much space one little cubic centimeter of water would take up. So we use milliliters to measure small things. Or so milliliters measure how much liquid or how much gas fill up a space, so milliliters is a small space. Now if you have a thousand milliliters, you get one liter. So we use milliliters and liters to measure how much space like liquid or gas fill up an object. So we measure small amounts of liquid with milliliters. Like the cough syrup you take when you're sick, it's about 10 milliliters of syrup. Gatorade bottle is usually about 250 milliliters. Small can of soup is about the same amount. Of, so we measure small amounts of liquid in milliliters. Now, if I had a thousand little milliliters, I would get one liter. The most common form of a liter is a big bottle of water. We use liters to measure bigger amounts. One liter is about is the size of a bottle. Two liters of pop. All right. In an indoor play area, you might use 20 to 30,000 liters. And an Olympic-sized pool has two and a half million liters of water. All right, let's talk about converting kilograms to grams. Well, we know 1,000 grams equals 1 kilogram, so 5 kilograms, you can multiply by 1,000, gives us 5,000. So 5 kilograms equals 5,000 grams. Alright, now let's convert liters to milliliters. We know 1 liter is 1,000 milliliters, so 12 liters, if you multiply by 1,000, would give us 12,000. So 12 liters equals 12,000 milliliters. So to sum it up, metric mass units or weight is 1,000 grams equals one kilogram. And metric volume or measurement of liquid that fills objects is one liter equals 1,000 milliliters. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Created using Powtoon.